there. Welcome to Ink Quiring Minds. My name is Doug, and I'm here with an Ink Quiring Minds quickie review. That is a short review on things that are fountain pen related, but not exactly fountain pens. From time to time, manufacturers and retailers reach out to me and ask me if I'd be interested in receiving one of their items with which to review for you guys. And I always say, of course, send it on. So a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by Britum of the Asvine store on Amazon and asked whether I'd be interested in reviewing this three pen leather pen case. And I said, of course, I love that pen case. I bought one from you just about six months ago, but send it on nonetheless. Now I could use two three pen cases, but that's being a bit selfish. So I'm gonna give one of these two away. And for the last couple of weeks, I've been carrying these around. This is the pigskin version in this light brown color. And this is the, I think they call it classic or antique or something like that. I'll put the link to the Amazon store page in the description below. Uh, and I'll put up here the list of the, I think there's five colors in this. Yeah, there's five colors, black, blue, brown, retro and wine and so this is the retro color and this is the brown color here so i've been carrying these around with pens in them for the last couple of weeks deciding on which one of these i want to give away to an inquiring mind subscriber and i've decided that i'm going to keep the one that i bought mainly because i've grown attached to it and worked it in a little bit and i'm going to give away this retro version so let's look at both of them here for a moment and first of all the one that I purchased myself. You can see that it has this tan, reddish brown, light brown pig skin on the outside and this lovely gray suede on the inside. This is real leather, folks. The tabs are leather. The, the zippers on them are well stitched and haven't shown any signs of wear at all. Uh, where I get concerned is the longevity of these zippered pulls and whether those zippers will pull out of that stitching, but it's very, very solid. When I bought this, I was actually very surprised because I was expecting leatherette and faux suede, and I got leather and real suede. Very, very soft to the touch. And you can see I've got three of my most treasured pens uh, in this three pen case. There's my Pelican M800, which is the best pen in my entire collection. My new old stock, 1990s Pelican M600 and my favorite restored vintage pen, my 1945 Parker Vacumatic in Azure Blue Pearl. Now let's look at the one that you have a chance to win. It has a different kind of leather. It's like a cowhide, I would expect. It doesn't have any of that texture to it that my pigskin version does, but it's in this dyed old, what they call retro, but dyed old leather, the more you work with it, the more aged it will look, and it'll look awesome. The stitching on these things is terrific. Again, these are things you look for for quality. Are there any tail ends sticking out? Are there any breaks? Will those zippers pull out of there? And you can see that it's a chocolate brown suede on the inside, but that the, the loops for the pens are that same leather that's on the outside. And I've got some vintage pens in this case right now. This is a 1960 Schaefer PFM pen for men, which I restored and was given to me by John Summers. Thank you, John. And here is my most recent restoration. This is a 1947 Parker Vacumatic in silver pearl, but it's a debutante, the small size, beautiful pen, restored very very nicely and thirdly this is the waterman 100 year pen which i restored for john and is going back to him really soon this is his most beloved pen who says vintage pens have to be small look at the size of that gold nib anyway i digress i want to thank britam of the asvine store on amazon you can find the link to these cases in the description below and if you purchase anything on the Asvine store, please enter this code. I'll put it here on the screen for you. Enter this code for 25% off and tell them Ink Quarry Minds sent you. To win this very three pen case, just be a subscriber to my channel, add a comment below on any topic at all, but you can talk about how wonderful my channel is and how great I am. It won't help you at all because the draws are random. 
but enter a comment within 48 hours of this video going public, at which time I will randomly select a winning comment, a winning subscriber, and inform you that you've won by answering your comment, by putting a pinned comment below in this video, and by adding an entry in my community page. If you are the winner, send me an email at inkquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and your address. Yes, I need that in order to send you your prize. And I will send it out to you right pronto. If I don't hear from anyone within 48 hours, then I'll just go and select again. And if no one after that wants to claim the prize, then I'll just keep it because I like it. So thanks go out to Britom of the Asvine Pen Store on Amazon for providing this beautiful three pen leather case for me to review and give away to you. And that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.